I am Kausa Tripathi, your instructor, and uh, today we are going to talk about adaptive thresholding. So, in the earlier video, we have covered a uh, simple or uh, global thresholding where we talk about um, we, are, we are putting some value of thresholding, and uh, accordingly, we were like uh, we were uh, using this concept on the images, but today we are going to use adaptive thresholding. So, in this kind of thresholding, there will be no fixed value. To threshold or uh, ad in adaptive thresholding uh, the value at every pixel is keeps on changing according to the uh, kind of an image according to the pixels according to the requirement at that image so there are two methods of adaptive thresholding basically there are two methods and uh, let's get on to a spider ID and see how we how, what are those methods and how we can use them okay so this was our program of simple thresholding Okay, we have used these some methods: thresh binary, thresh binary inverse, trunk to zero to zero inverse. And earlier we were using some other image. Today we are going to use this Sudoku image. Okay, I'm going to show you what this image is. I'm gonna run all of those. Um, this was our original image of Sudoku, and uh, this is our image. Now this is the binary thresholding of that image. You see everything is like vanished means it's all become black black now it all be, why it all became black because most of the section is like uh, has a less lightning and that's why they are like a little bit darker so that's why what thresholding did it all converted into zero same thing if we talk about other i know this is binary inverse everything became white because it's just an inverse of it then if we talk about uh, trunk now i told you trunk is like the original uh, a version of the uh, trunk is almost similar to original just you know it what it did it jaw whatever the area that is glowing here yeah it just uh, make it look like similar to this image just covered it then there is a two zero same problem with the two zero also it all converted to black and uh, two zero inverse you see so you see all of these simple uh, uh, global thresholding methods one are not working on this image because of the illumination different illumination at different places in the image so I'm gonna just remove it now there are two methods uh, to special methods of adaptive thresholding that are cv2 dot uh, basically first thing when we are using right now we are using normal threshold so we are using cv2 dot threshold let me zoom in zoom it we are using cv2 dot threshold okay but in adaptive threshold we use cv2 dot wait a minute yep adaptive threshold we use this method cv2 dot adaptive threshold and you see there it says source image max value adaptive method which i'm going to tell you right now then threshold type whatever these threshold types we are using they are all used in this and then block size and a constant i will explain all of these in the further video so this is the method that uh, is adaptive threshold that we are going to use now the adaptive threshold type what adaptive type they are two adaptive types one is cv2 dot um adaptive thresh mean c and other is cv2 dot adaptive thresh Gaussian C. So in the mean C, what happens? It takes a mean, uh, and then uh, if you remember here, um, when uh, we were using the source like image one, the max value, which will be 255 or 225, whatever you want to give it, then adaptive method, which I have already told you these two, then threshold type. I have explained in the earlier video what are the threshold type like binary, binary inverse, trunk to zero. Then there is a block size block size now this block size will be used over here now we i am talking about here thresh mean so by the word you would have understand we are talking of um, taking mean of something some pixels around there so exactly what we are doing is we are taking a block size around that uh, pixel and we are taking you going to take the mean of it and that mean is going to be applied over there that pixel same thing is with the gaussian 
we are taking the Gaussian product of that and we are going to apply it over that pixel. So that is what the main uh, that block size is used for. Then the third thing is constant. That constant is like we add it to the uh, mean to make it image look more clear and to you know to work with the image much more better way. I will show you how with the complete examples of it. So just remove all of these. And uh, I'm gonna just uh, you know comment all of these over here. I'm gonna also comment uh, these binary. Uh, I'm I'm sure made a method. Okay, so we are only displaying the uh, original image and the. Uh, the threshold uh, adaptive threshold images that I'm going to create right now. So it will be image 7. Now you see in this, so uh, let me show you cv2 dot adaptive threshold. It says source image, so I'm gonna give it image 1. Then it says max value. So what a uh, max value will be 255. Then adaptive method will be cv2 dot. Um, let's say adaptive threshold mean c then uh, we are going to use threshold type which will be cv2 dot thresh binary and uh, block size now we will take a block size of like around uh, right now i am going to take one now i am telling you one is a wrong number but I will tell you how I how you can find it what number we have to take it that's why I'm taking a wrong number over here one and then I'm going to give it some constant like let's say two okay now I'm gonna uh, I'm show it cv2 dot I'm show and uh, let's give it a mean comma image seven all right okay now I'm gonna run this program let's see what happens you see here, uh, it says adaptive threshold missing required argument max value. Okay, we have provided it max value at position 2. Wait a minute. Yep, there is this bracket error over here. Now let's run it again. Now, if you see the error over here, it says a block size percent 2 equals to equals to 1 means block size mod 2 equals to equals to 1 now whatever the block size it says whatever the block size you put over here has to be if we divide it by 2 then its remainder should be 1 that means block size should be an odd number but we are taking a 1 over here and 1 is an odd number so there should be no problem but then again it says and and block size should be greater than 1 so we need to take an odd number and also uh, which is greater than 1. So we are going to, in the starting, we are going to take 3 over here. And our uh, constant is 2. So now let's run this program. Let's see. Okay. You see, we got this image. This is our uh, original image. And this is the adaptive threshold method. But earlier, if you have seen, when we applied adaptive threshold, then it would become all black or white image. You can't see it properly what the image is all about but now you can see clearly the image is a lot clear for you and uh, you know this is a little bit of dull image but you got a little bit brightened image with um, you know emphasizing on the things and uh, this is adaptive threshold when we are applying mean but uh, let's change some parameters over here now let's apply uh, increase the size of it 5 and also increase it let's say make it 5 too now if I run it, now you see it become a lot more clear than um, the earlier time we run it. It, it is a lot clearer image. You can see it clearly. You can read this section also. Yeah, you can read a little bit of this section also. Like it says fill in the blank spaces in the grid so that every vertical column, blah, blah. Okay, so this has become a lot more clearer, you know, and a good heightened image. Now, what about if I just reduce it? Uh, I'm right now. I'm just reducing the value of a constant. Uh, let's say I give it uh, like uh, um, minus five. 
Okay, let's see what happens. You see, it all, uh, whatever the blank spaces around here, it just make it all black. And the numbers, it just bordered them with a white color because they are in the black color already. Whatever is in the black color, they are all bordered with a white color. Now, uh, let me, you know, we just did a lot over here. Now, let's make it minus one. And if I run it again, now you see, hey, it keeps on filling it. You know, minus one, at minus one, it, it, this much it filled the, you know, gaps between the lines. And uh, if I make it like earlier, we used two and minus five, let's put it one. No, a little bit of dot dot dots you know blackish section because this is all a shaded portion around here and is working on that shaded portion like that so that's why the more we increase the constant number over here with the mean the better the image we will get see the quality of the image even if we increase a lot more oh let's say 10 now let's see what happens now we are going to lose again that so this is how we find the you know middle point where we we get more clear image where we can apply a better threshold so that is what we call uh, argument tweaking. you know we've got uh, lots of parameters over here and now we are tweaking our uh, this adapt adaptive threshold method for our better like the way we want it so it was working fine with a 5.5 i guess right yeah so now the, we, let's try another method which is gaussian method cv2 dot adaptive threshold it is as image 1 comma 255 comma gaussian method then uh, i'm gonna use again the cv2 dot thresh binary as a binary method and i'm gonna give the same arguments over here okay now let's run Okay, I am show also. CV2 dot I am show and give it a name Gaussian, comma image it. Now let's run it. Now you see this is a, a Gaussian image and uh, this is the mean image. Wait a minute. Uh, this is the you can see the difference over here right now Gaussian is not that much clear but some sections like if you read this side of the section it is a lot clearer in comparison to this one but it is losing a lot of effects over here and in here but it is mean is showing it more clearly but if you tweak Gaussian in a perfect way Gaussian is a like the a great method in this field and uh, thresholding and adaptive thresholding it is a really great method to work with but all we have to do is tweak these parameters around here to get a better result out of it. Now this is called adaptive. Uh, this is called adaptive thresholds. These are the two methods, and I've shown you how it is better than the global threshold. You can right now you are applying thresh mean thresh binary over here. You can also apply thresh binary inverse. Like if I just uh, you know uh, put it like INV over here, and if I run it. You see, we've got the just opposite of the main one. We've got just opposite of it. And we were, uh, if you see in this image, what we did is we basically blacked out all the backgrounds and we just uh, got the numbers out of it. Whatever written out in it, we just got it out. And rest everything, we make it all black. So you see, numbers are a lot more, uh, a lot more clear, visible over here. We got a good visuality on the numbers. So this is thresholding, like we are separating something from the background. So this is all about thresh, adaptive threshold. And uh, keep practicing it, keep trying to tweak uh, these methods, okay? And uh, try different these uh, normal threshold method instead of the adaptive threshold to make it work, work much better. And this is all. See you in the next video.